Hello my lovelies, welcome back. I've got an empties video for you. So we're going to have a delve in the bag of rubbish and I'm going to give you a little reviews on the products at the same time. So first things first, um, this is from Fresh Skincare and it's the Rose Deep Hydration Facial Toner with Rose Extract and it removes impurities and softens and it has real rose petals in the product which sort of complicates it when it gets to the end because it really does block um, everything. It was nice, it's not overly scented of roses which I like. I liked it, my skin liked it, the most important thing was it didn't react. Um, I'm not using any AHAs, BHAs currently so I wanted something that was gentle but I still like to wash something over my face when I've cleansed and this was really lovely. I would definitely get it again. I've gone to try another one from another brand because um, this isn't cheap. It's about £34, so it's quite expensive. But it was nice, and the fact that it didn't set my skin off, I think, was a plus. So I'm going to use the other one, but I would definitely look at going back to this. It was beautiful. Basically, anything that doesn't set my skin off is a plus. This um, from Davine's hair care range, which you know I love everything I've had from them. It's the new new conditioner which was for highly processed or brittle hair. Beautiful, it's like butter in a tub. Not particularly shower friendly. It's a bit of a pain breaking into the tub and trying to get it into your hair but it left my hair so soft and in a lovely lovely condition. Very smooth, very manageable. Um, I do have another conditioner that I'm using but I would certainly look at more from the range. I really like Davines. Um, this I think was my second purchase of this particular product and I would buy it again. Evolve Organic Beauty, beautiful range, they do a great cocoa and coconut sort of facial scrub mask, they, oh it's just gorgeous. This is their gentle cleansing melt for normal dry skin. Um, yes I know I've got combination oily but you know I won't be pigeonholed and if a product works it works and this does it's beautiful although it's gel like I actually don't mind it and it smells lovely it removes my makeup it leaves my skin clean it does everything I want it to do which is why I would definitely buy another and you pop it on you can add water and it goes into a milk and you can cloth off or rinse off but uh, yeah absolutely love it um, and it's still got that smell it's just got a warm sweet smell but not sickly sweet fabulous cleanser this soapa dupa you've seen i don't know how many of these it's the ginger and sea salt body scrub love 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 smells great gets rid of the dead skin cells i love it soapa dupa this was their nourishing coconut body wash the newest scent to the range i love it but what happens let me know if it's not just me um when I love something, I use it and use it to the point where I actually get a bit sick of it. And after so long, I actually found the coconut just too much that I longed for the ginger body wash or the zesty lemon wash. And I'm now using both of those. I will go back to this because I love coconut, but I think, oh yeah, I just over egged the pudding. I just used it because I was so obsessed that it actually made me feel quite, ugh, not coconut again. But I loved it, it doesn't strip the skin, it's very nourishing, great, great range of products. And you can get them at Tesco, there you go. This, um, another cleanser, one of the smaller brands that I've been looking at, and it's from Natural Wisdom, the Raw and Organic Blue Tansy Oil Gel Cleanser. And I love Blue Tansy, but I don't like the cost of it in a lot of ingredients and products and May Lindstrom is the one that introduced me to Blue Tansy and it was an expensive journey. This is not so expensive but just as effective and it's the most lovely blue rich oil cleanser. I've washed it out but I can still still smell it. Lovely on the skin, it just feels, even when it's taking my makeup off, my skin feels very calm with Blue Tansy and it feels very natural. It doesn't feel that I am stripping my skin or pulling anything away. My skin looks the better for using it. And I love Natural Wisdom. They do a really nice Blue Tansy Balm as well. I know a few people have been asking about the Blue Tansy. Um, I found it just as good as anything May Lindstrom's produced. 
and also Mono do a blue tansy balm as well and a facial oil which has helped with my skin so Natural Wisdom a great great brand and I've bought another one of these cleansers this came from Mono and it was a free sample and it was their Luna body oil and I loved it only a tiny bottle so it was gone really quickly but so rich and it just has that almost like um, a spicy edge to it, a peppery edge, which I really liked. But it just made my skin so much better. And you know I do neglect my limbs, but I do like an oil and this was a pleasure to use. Damp skin out of the shower, not greasy, but it left a lovely healthy sheen to the skin. Loved it. And I would consider looking at the big size of that. Um, this was a sample from Lime and Lilac who is the lovely, oh, she's just the most lovely lady, gorgeous Lisa, who created Lime and Lilac's facial oil and Neroli and Frankincense facial oil. And I was lucky enough to sample that before she sent it out to the public. And it's just one of the most beautiful facial oils I've put on my face. She's now doing a body oil, creating a body oil. It's not for sale yet. It's called Capri. I'm not gonna tell you anything else. It came, the sample came in this. That was Betty. Um, beautiful. It was one of the best, richest, creamiest. I know that's a weird word to use with an oil, but it had such a substance to it. And that's what I love about Lisa with her oils. She just gets the consistency right that I love. Without it being sticky and greasy, it was such a great product to put on my skin in the hot weather. And my skin looked amazing. It's... It's got like a fruity, appley, mowed grass scent about it. Not overpowering, you can wear your scent without it being overpowering, but it was just, for the body, beautiful. And I can't wait till she launches Capri. Um, an empty, this was Beauty Pie Super Luminous Concealer, which I loved, it was great. I had shared like 200. Um, lightweight, it didn't crease, it did what I wanted it to do. I'm not a member of the Beauty Pie group anymore. I ended my subscription, but if I went back, it would be one of the products that I would go for. Um, a few people have been asking me about Beauty Pie, and I've been talking to a few people that signed up around the same time I did. And interesting, we all sort of are coming to the same conclusion. Colour, makeup, I'm absolutely loving. Whatever I've had, I've loved. A lot of the skincare I really loved. Um, the night cream, not a problem. It's fabulous. Um, I can't remember what it's called, but it's a thick sort of pink cream. I've never had a problem with that. But a lot of the skincare after time has caused me problems and a lot of them do have a very high alcohol content. So the skincare hasn't been a great experience for me. The color has been wonderful. And I've heard from a few other people who found the same thing, that it's been great and then over time they've knocked products off and realized that it's been the Beauty Pie skincare that hasn't worked for them. Not for everybody. A lot of people are having great results, which is how it should be. We can't all suit everything, but color wise, I love Beauty Pie. This I think was my second purchase, Paradise Ecstatic L'Oreal Mascara. Um, I love it because it lengthens, it bulks, it gives you volume, it gives you curl. It's just fabulous. They have a waterproof version as well. They also have a primer. I haven't tried that, but I would definitely buy it and get a third one. Absolutely, without a doubt. Two fragrances, but tiny sample ones. One is um, Scent of a Dream, which is the Eau de Parfum from Charlotte Dilbury. I like it, but it's a bit too floral and grandma for me. I can kind of get where people go with it, but it's, the edge is just too floral, and I'm not a floral person. This I love from Glossier, Glossier U. I've got so many samples of this, but I think it will come down to one day I will actually buy a full bottle. It has that spiciness to it, which I quite like. Um, so definitely I would buy that. I liked the sample, I wore it, but I wouldn't buy it. But things can change. My pH levels will change in the winter, so that might be perfect and that might be too much. Often the way, you just never ever know unless you have a fragrance on and you wear it for a good 
half an hour, hour, couple of hours. So there we go. That's it. Those are my empties. Um, thank you for joining me. I'll be back with another video. There will be a few reviews on products coming up on my blog, so check there. If you've any other requests for videos, do let me know. There are tutorials coming up. A few people have been asking about Instagram live stories. Um, please join me on Instagram because sometimes I just go live and have a chat with everybody. Um, so yes, join me on there. If you've any questions, I'll be doing a Q&A video soon so you can ask me anything. I can't guarantee I'll answer everything, but feel free to ask. And yes, I will be doing it. That's what I wanted to say. Yes, I will be doing more Instagram lives. It's just I've had a really bad back and I've been a grump and not felt like it. But they are coming back. So Instagram, ask me questions for q and I'll be back with another video soon. Thank you for watching. Bye for now. Where's my remote? Ah.